Hello everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude. I am here with my guest star Serana Reyes J. And we are here to review the episode Driven to Tears, requested by <laughs> what? Uh, Mario Sonic Bowser and Amy Matu. Driven to Tears is about when Spongebob fails his driving test for the 58th time. Poor Sponge. And then Patrick, he decides to take the test, and just for his one try, Patrick earns his license, making Spongebob look bad, making him jealous, and then Patrick's just bragging about his license, he gets a cool badass boat too, he drives Spongebob around, yep. and you know, it kind of, you know, it kind of puts their friendship at stake. Yes, it does. It's weird. Patrick's the dumb one, and... Spongebob is a smart one. It's weird. But, but yeah, in this episode, he acts like a smart ass and a huge jerk. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. And so, my thoughts on this episode, I really like this episode. I do really like it. I think it's well done. It's a funny episode overall. And I think as a whole, it's just a well-written and enjoyable episode. I agree. I like it that the way, like, like, way of Patrick is, like, rubbing in his face, even though he doesn't even, like, mean it. Yeah. He's just bragging because it was his first time getting a driver's license. Yeah. And accomplishing something that, in his, in his entire life. And Spongebob and Patrick, they were kind of jerks here, you know? Because yeah. Patrick's a jerk because he rubs in, uh, he... He doesn't mean it, but he just, like, brags a lot about his new boat and yeah. his license. Spongebob's a jerk here because he uh, he doesn't accept the fact that Patrick's a better driver than him. Yeah. So, you know, they're both the jerks, but in their own ways, you know? Yeah. They have different reasons for being jerks. Yeah. That's really my flaw. That's my biggest flaw I have with this episode. I do think Patrick is a huge jerk. Spongebob's a jerk, too, but the one that bugged me more as the jerk level was Patrick, like... I just got a little annoyed, and I didn't like how he was bragging about his bow, the license, telling Spongebob that you should learn how to drive, like, you know, just giving Spongebob all these tips, acting like a little smartass, like he knows everything. I just didn't like that side of Patrick, to be honest, but... My only thought is that Patrick offered Spongebob a ride. Yeah. Like, somewhere. Yeah. And, uh, Patrick, and not Patrick, uh, Spongebob noticed that Patrick was going a little bit, like... Over the speed limit. Oh, yeah. And he's trying to frame him going over the speed limit. Yeah. But with the cop. That one and ripping up his driver license. Yeah, that was kind That That's, was kind of jerky Spongebob. Like, I know Patrick was a jerk, but that was, like, no reason to do that. Yeah, that was, like, too far to do. It. Despite the huge flaw, it does have, I do admit, it has a huge flaw. But overall, I still really enjoy this episode. I do still recommend it. It gives me a lot of laughs. I think, overall, as a whole, it's well-written. Yeah. And I would give Driven to Tears an 8 out of 10. I think it's a really good episode. Uh, for me, I give it 8 and a half. All right. J, we're still here, and this time it's for Rule of Dumb, and it's requested by Mario Sonic Bowser. Amy Matu, once again, Rule of Dumb is about when Patrick gets this crown because there was like this ancient history that he's the true ruler of the crown by this person who was a starfish just like him. But then, of course, with Patrick having a crown and being the king and all... He's going crazy with power. My thoughts with this episode... Uh... Eh, it's okay. I I don't like it that much. It's just an okay episode. 
Just like Raven the Tears, Patrick was a huge jerk here, but in this episode, I just thought he goes twice as more far than he did with Raven the Tears. It, it's an okay episode, there is some laughs, but there are just moments where you actually do want to punch Patrick in the face because of how crazy a power he is, and I really didn't like how he treated everyone, I didn't like how he's taking away people's prized possessions, like, yeah, Patrick was... Uh, yeah. For me, I want, if I was on that show, I probably wanted to take his crown. Yeah. So he'll go. He'll stop being crazy. In my honest opinion, it wasn't my favorite one. Yeah, definitely not its best, but not its worst either. Yeah. Pat, not Pat. Uh, SpongeBob was trying to stop him and tell him that he's going crazy and everything. Plus, there were some funny moments. Yeah, there was. Like, there was this thing where Patrick's like eating all the Krabby Patties at the Krusty Krab. Although, I didn't like how Mr. Krabs treated Spongebob in that scene. He was a jerk to Spongebob. And he focused on Patrick just because he's the king and all that stuff. So, that one also bugged me there, too. But there were funny moments, like when Squidward, when Patrick was moving Squidward's house out of the way. Remember that scene? Oh, yeah. He's trying to put, like, a, <laughs> what, a Ferris wheel? Yeah, he, he did because he wanted to make his own Ferris wheel, which was pretty funny. Yeah. And then, I'm not going to spoil what happens at the end, but I like the little twist that came to the end of the episode. One, Patrick was, uh, one, Patrick deserved it, and two, it added a little humor to the ending. It did. So overall, Rule of Dumb is not th the best episode I've seen in Spongebob, but it's definitely not the worst either. It's an okay episode, some fine moments, but just like Driven to Tears, Patrick was a huge jerk. Only difference is that he was an even bigger one, and I just did not appreciate that. He, they just went too far. It was a little mean-spirited, really mean-spirited, actually, in my opinion, and yeah. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah, 6 out of 10. It's okay. For me, I get it 7 out of 10. Because it's, like, good. It's, like, I don't hate it, hate it, but I liked it just the way it is. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Twitter. Comment to give me your thoughts on the SpongeBob episode. Like and share this video. I will always have... TAGA POWER!